poppin'? What's poppin'? Sagittarius, why are you so mysterious, baby? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot, and I am back at it again one time for the one time. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies for like, sharing, and subscribing, and clicking this video. We are here for my sign of Sagittarius to find out what the energy is for the month of September. Yes, ma'am. So let's get into this, y'all know. Um, before we do anything, we always give God his acknowledgement and prayer. So you guys, let's give him thanks. Father God, thank you so much for waking us up today. Thank you so much for blessing everybody in the sign of Sagittarius. Father God, thank you so much for revealing new open doors of new blessed opportunities to us, Father God. Like a lot of things have been going down in a very prosperous way in regards to business financing just career opportunities and we just feel so good with being able to travel and be around family and just you know being able to experience overall happiness so father god we thank you for the growth and the um love and the joy that's surrounding us in our life and we just want many many more so father god thank you so much and give us the guidance that we need to receive today and thank you for being in our life amen amen and amen all right hello we are reloaded. Come on, Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? Let's, let's see what's going on. Ooh, I heard people been asking questions about you. Ooh, been asking questions. Asking all them questions. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Give me one card for Sagittarius. Oh, you're doing too much. One card, please. One card for Sagittarius, please. You got decline. <sighs> Why are you trying to work me today? Why are you trying to work me today? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I guess, listen, I'm going to do what the Lord tell me to do. Okay, we got some shit. Let's, let's give them something to talk about. Okay, you got declutter. You got major life change and you got jealousy. Jealousy, what you telling me? Let's see what this says. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. Declutter. Whatever old shit you still got lingering around, burn it. Get rid of everything. Release whatever past energy it is that you need that is getting in the way of your major life change. What does it say? Time is right for major life changes. A new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. God is giving you the key answer right now what you need to do. move and then you got jealousy lord watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish keep quiet these cards ain't come out for no reason somebody needed this declutter don't take none of that old shit with you you about to move Let's see what we got. Give me one card for Sagittarius. What we got coming up in, sep in September? We got beautiful. All right now. Oh, y'all know what song has popped up in my head? Um, India Ari. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wanna dance a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Y'all look up that song. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, what is she saying? A beautiful. What is she saying? Hold on. Please understand that it's not that I don't care. But right now my walls are closing in on me. I love you more than I love life itself. 
But I need to find a place where I can breathe I can breathe I wanna go to a place where I can hold the intangible Oh my god, why am I getting chills? Why I feel like I'm making somebody cry? I wanna go to a place where Time have no consequences, oh yeah Oh my goodness, y'all please go listen to that song Cause that song has God, I feel like I'm about to cry Like that song has something to do with this message, y'all Cause y'all, y'all Oh God, y'all not about to do this to me. Ain't no other sign do this to me. Y'all not about to do that. Y'all is not about to do that. Okay, so the cards that you got, and we only supposed to be doing one card, but y'all have been doing, y'all have been doing me, <laughs> and I'm not even gonna question it because God know what He doing. You got the turning point. You know, all of these things in the upright. It says a return. The start of a new cycle, right timing, regeneration, um, if inevitability, I can never say that. Steady improvements. So there's a turning point that's going to force you to declutter, focus on your dreams. Okay, and allow this splitting apart. You got splitting apart. It says impermanence, collapse, deterioration, separation, letting go, surrendering, eliminating the old, death. And again, what did this say up here? Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of their self that you may wish to avoid. And I just heard, regardless if you realize it, now have it be now or later, all of this is going to make sense. A week later in time, this will make sense. Because we ain't even in September yet. Mid-month. All of this is going to be final. You got the approach. Advancing a warm reception Prosperous conditions, increased influence, hopefulness, lighting up an arrival. So, once this turning point happens, and you allow this splitting apart, you about to go into the beautiful. Everything that that song said, India Ivory, that song is associated with this reading. You have to listen to that song. That is going to bring that disruption to what you thought your life was. There's going to be a major life change that is approaching you. That is arriving. Declutter. And these people are going to be jealous. Let them. Let them. And what this card said. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets. And plans. Spend time outdoor with nature. The beautiful. Hmm. All right, let's get one more card. Okay, let's go. You got the Empress in the reverse. So again, this is this is basically um, confirming that. I just heard you need a new arrangement. It's like a new arrangement. When you get into this new environment, you'll be able to beautify, beautify your environment and make things you. Right now, you're not in this space where you feel that you can be comfortable. Um, I don't know why. Why I feel like hoarding. Like someone needs to clean up their house. Like you need to declutter. I don't know why I'm here in like a nasty environment. Like someone got dishes all over the place. It's like toys and clothes all over the couch, all over the floor. Probably hasn't vacuumed in God knows how long. 
The bathroom needs to be clean. It's just a deteriorating environment that needs to be cleaned up. Because an empress is about beautification. It's about a warm, nurturing, abundant, blossoming home environment. It's something going on here where you need to declutter. There's a major life change coming. And your life has got to a turning point where certain things have to end. There's a recreation of thine self where you can get to the beautiful part again. Because it's something about... Look at, look at this environment and then look at this environment. It looks grody. I don't even know if that's a word. It's giving like someone don't invite a lot of people to their house because it'd be dirty. I'm sorry. I don't know if it has anything to do with depression or, or what. But the Empress in the reverse knows and she's very much so aware of what she needs to do to pull herself together. So I don't know who that message was for. And it's not, it don't take it personal. Like, please. You would be offended if you want to. I don't give a shit. But for the person that knows that I'm talking to them and knows I used to keep my house clean. I just been letting shit go. I been letting my kids do what the fuck they want to do. I ain't been making them clean up after themselves. It's like I need to get back to what I used to do. What I used to do. And when I get into this new home, we ain't living like this no more. We keeping our shit clean. Clean. I don't want to see shit on my floor. I don't want to see no dishes in the sink. It's, it's, uh-uh. No. You feel me? It's like standing up being a mother, like a real mother, you know? And I'm not, I'm not saying that anybody's a bad mother, because you know the Empress is a mother. But it's like someone might have been just letting shit go because they were at a turning point in their life and it's just a lot. Power, you know what I'm saying? It's like, because with this declutter, it's like even if I was to clean up a little section, it would still look dirty. And it's not because of actual things that could be unnecessary baggage and shit that you're holding on to. Things that are not helping you progress and pushing you to the turning point of where you need to be. Now you're at the turning point of where you need to be. And now that you've made this decision on your own, and you're separating yourself so that you can actually create and, and, and be the empress that you are. People going to be jealous. They may talk about you. Talk about, oh, her house used to be dirty. She used to not do her kids' hair. She used to do... Who gives a shit? Don't tell nobody about what you're doing. Where you're going. Because people are going to have something to say. You need the silence. And you keep your head up. And again, when you get to this new place, this, uh, this approach that you're taking is different. And that's why people are jealous. Advancing, a warm reception, prosperous conditions, increased influence, hopefulness, lighting up an arrival. You got a lot of shit coming to you. A lot of shit coming. And when you arrive, baby, huh. Ain't shit that nobody can say to you or about you that's going to affect the changes that's coming into the, into your life. Let them talk and keep your blessings to yourself. Create newness. You understand? I love you. Y'all hit that like button. Let me know was, Let me know if this resonated down in the chat. Because this one almost made me cry for some reason. And I, I don't be coming on here to cry. So anyway, <laughs> I love you. Peace.